Hello everyone, I'm Daryl and in this quick tutorial I'll show you how to give your Unity characters a stylized or an anime inspired look. You know the cell shaded looks in games like Genshin Impact and Zelda? I'll show you how to recreate that style in your own projects. We're talking big beautiful eyes, shaded lines, all the hallmarks of stylized graphics. By the end of this quick tutorial you'll have the skills to upgrade your game's visuals to the next level. So let's get started. First open Unity and create a new project or if you already have one it's fine. In my case I'll use my existing one but feel free to create a new one. You can use either the built-in render pipeline or the universal render pipeline, whichever you prefer. I will be using the Unity Tune Shader for this. It's completely free and simple. Uh, I've linked the documentation in the description, so you can easily access it. And now click on installation and check that you have Git installed. If not, then type in in your browser Git download, not Git. Up, just git, uh, click the first link that appear and select your operating system uh, then download it. I've already done it so I can close it and yeah now the unity project is open. It's the sample scene from uh, universal render pipeline and now we have to import our character or model it's in my case, and it's from Genshin Impact. It's not my character. I've not created it. It's from DeviantArt. I've just downloaded and I will link the publisher in description. So import the model into Unity. And now we have the model imported. Now let's install the Unity Tune Shader. Go to Window, Package Manager, then open the website again you can just type in or copy it uh, and then go to plus sign add package from git url paste it uh, or type in and click on add i've already added because it takes a few moments maybe one minute and yeah i can close it after it uh, you can just create a new material uh, select create material Oop, you can name it uh, for example face because the first material will be face now the shader itself as you can see it's the normal universal render pipeline lit but click on it and on the bottom there are two tune shaders now added click on the first one as you can see, it's now how we want it. Uh, now let's import the character into the scene. As you can see, it's the normal white character uh, with normal 3D shadows and we don't want it. So let's change it. Click on material. Then as normal as in other materials, this is the base map. So just import your texture drag it hit and as you can see it's now the material surface now drop the material on face or whatever you're using and yeah as you can see there is something white uh, it's the shadow click on apply first shadow and now it's gone but we want to have some shadows so you can select your shadow color here uh, as you can see, I can make it something like green or blue or whatever I want. But uh, I will use something red to make it cool and simple and really nice. So it's good color for me. As you can see, there is in the second shading map, but I don't use it. You can uh, just read something about it, but you can leave it out. Uh, in my case, it's good for me now, like this, and yeah. Now we have just to drag everything and create other materials. One minute, 37 seconds later. And boom, it's finished now. I've dragged all materials and it looks pretty nice to me. As you can see, 
This looks something like Genshin Impact. Uh, and But you can play with it around. There are many settings. Uh, for example, maybe the important one for the face. You can have uh, the red blush on the cheeks to make it more alive. Uh, click on rim light. Oh, the wrong material. I want the face. Click on face. Click on rim light. As you can see, now it's a little bit white. You can change it something to red. It looks really cool. But uh, another important setting is outline. Go down. Here is the outline. Change the width here. Something like this. Yeah. Now we have an outline. You can change it for every material and you can play with other settings. It's really cool. Uh, read the documentation uh, requirements. If you have under 2019, you have to upgrade it. But yeah, it's really cool. It looks now really different uh, from the normal 3D look that we had. And I think it looks really good. Thumb.